Guess what, folks? It's time for another episode of Let's Play Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Uh, you better sit down, buckle up, and enjoy the show, because we've got a lot of exploring and backtracking to do soon. Anyway, to start off, we're going to farm this soul from the Minotaur here. And as soon as I get his soul and drop, I will be back with those. Okay, I've got the soul so far, which increases strength by 8. It's an upgrade of the previous strength boosting soul. I'm going to get his item drop now. Okay, I've got the item drop, which is the battle axe. Now, if you check out that attack, it's a huge boost. It works just like the hammer attack-wise, but it kills most things in one or two hits here. Also notice over here, there's a Bewer that now spawns where Yoko used to be. That's actually the best place in the game to farm it if you didn't get it in Castle Corridor earlier. But I did, so I'm not going to bother farming it right there. Now off to the right here, there's a room with a gold coin for $100. Not bad for free money. I wish I could find rooms with a hundred bucks in them. And then in this hall, there's kind of a demon face that opens whenever you're not facing it. So the trick is to turn around and back dash through it. More ass raping for the catablepus. They just can't get enough, I tell ya. More student bitches. Anyway, uh, the whip sword right here that I just got is actually one of my favorite weapons in this game. It's so hokey looking. It's like a sword with a whip attached. I mean, how hokey can you get? But honestly, the range on it is like one of the most beneficial things in this game. I love hitting things from a distance. I hate being so up close. That was one of the advantages of other Castlevania games with the whip, is that you didn't have to be close to the enemy, you could kind of stay back a little bit. But with like a close little sword or a knife, it was tough. Anyways, on to the boss battle with Great Armor. He actually uh, drops both a soul and a piece of equipment. I think it's Iron Plate, but I'm not sure. I actually got it on the practice run of this uh, section, but I can't quite remember what it was now. It was an upgrade, whatever it was, from what we have. Looks like he didn't drop anything. Anyway, that's enough for that battle, and on to another cutscene. Oh, what's a child like yourself doing at a place like this? A child? You're rude, Grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Hi, I'm Soma. I thought I was inspecting a shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? So, I just bailed on my mission. What do you mean? There were a bunch of strange people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up a shop. Uh, good for you? There's weapons all over this castle, and no monsters at the front gate. Good place for a shop. Come on by, I give you a good deal. See you around. <laughs> um, I think he's got something stuck in his ass. <laughs> a shop, huh? I don't get it. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> If you notice up there in that painting, it kind of looks like Sypha Belnades from Castlevania 3. And we just got the Malphus Soul, which allows us to do double jumps. So now I'm going to start backtracking in just a moment and show you all the places we couldn't reach earlier. Before we get to the double jumps backtracking, there's actually an item in the room with the melon here. In hard mode, you can get the Kaiser Knuckles. Uh, we will continue backtracking now. Okay, the first place you couldn't reach with the double jump is this area with these, the crate that you can push back and forth. Um, up in this area here, you'll actually get, I believe, a heart pendant. And it's got meager stats at best. 
Yeah, it's definitely not as good as the Ancient Belt. So I'm going to stick with my Ancient Belt for now. And now if you push the crate onto the left hand side, it'll drop down and we can reach this other area that we could get to earlier. And that gives us a broadsword. Now the broadsword's got more attack as you can see, slightly more. But it basically is like the hammer, so you'd prefer the battle axe at this point to the broadsword. But I'm going to use my whip sword. I kind of like the range that it has. Okay, the next place that we can explore more of is this little section here that we could double jump up to. And that has a hammer. whoop de doo On to the next spot. Okay, we're back in the chapel now. And using the flying armor and the uh, Malphus soul ability, we can now reach this section up here. This is actually one of the best areas to farm weak skeletons in the game. But we've already got his soul, as I said in the last video, so there's no point in really trying to farm it unless you want copies of it. And more hallways. La 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 la. So I think I'm going to start doing an LP of one of my favorite games, Super Adventure Island 2. We've got over here an anti-venom. Anyway, I think I'll do episodes of that in between episodes of this. So if you've never played that game, check it out in my LP. And here we've got um, a teleporter room. It's the first one. It'll actually let us go back to the beginning of the whole game as well. But I'll get back there soon enough anyway. And after a $100 coin, I'm going to jump to the next area. Okay. We are up to the top of the chapel now. And here, we couldn't reach those potions earlier. Now we can. So I'm going to hop up and grab this high mind up. And it looks like we'll need the flying flying armor ability again. And that nets us a high potion. On to the next spot. Okay, we're back all the way in the castle corridor now. And notice we couldn't reach this ledge earlier. Even with double jump, we can't seem to. But if you cheat and go off the stairs, you can. And it's actually the earliest point at which we can get... Um, a soul up here from the killer doll enemy and I will farm her soul off screen and I'll be back as soon as I get that okay we got the killer soul ability and this allows us to mesmerize the enemies basically it just kind of throws out a mannequin little doll thing it's kind of it hideous actually kind of like Chucky but with blonde hair Anyway, it distracts enemies, so it allows you to attack them while they're attacking the doll. Fairly useful, I suppose. But I'll stick with my other souls. Alright, the next area we're going to visit, we couldn't quite jump up to earlier, even with the flying armor ability, but now we can. And it has a piece of equipment up here, which is copper plate. But it's a pretty bad downgrade, so we'll stick with what we have. Okay, we're back at the entrance to the castle. Now we're going to visit Hammer Shop. Howdy there, you came! Is this where you've opened your shop? Yes, yes, it's it! By the way, that cute young lady over there, she's staring at you. Is she your friend? Yeah? Whoa, I had no idea you were so popular with the ladies. Hey, hey, it's not like that. Don't be shy now, you hear? It's good to be young. It's a good thing. All right, back to business. Take a look at my shop. So, first thing we could buy is this castle map too, which we don't have. And I'll just sort of browse down all these items. Uh, you notice the first one we don't have a copy of is the spear. 
It's sort of an upgrade. Gladius dropped from the Manticore. It's an upgrade. Scimitar we haven't been able to get yet. Also an upgrade. And Katana is an upgrade. They're all pretty expensive though, as you notice. Uh, War Fatigue's at uh, adds attack, but is greatly lowered in defense abilities. So we'll skip it too. I should be able to get most of those items anyway off of monsters by the end of the game. And up here we've got the Lucky Charm. It's magically delicious! <laughs> anyway, sorry. It looks like it boosts luck by two points. And I think I'm going to call that a video. We're running out of time. So stick around. We'll have more coming soon. Bye!